Hello all. In today's video we will discuss why do we burn books or destroy documents on a large scale throughout history. What are the reasons behind the destruction of documents and books and how truth persists and resurfaces, even against overwhelming odds. So let's go. So I was thinking that in certain situations, incidents throughout history, documents or books are burned or destroyed on a large scale, right? This is not a secret, okay, we know that. But is there something hidden, a reality behind the veil, a secret reason for doing this? You're right, throughout history, the burning or destruction of documents, books, and other records has been a recurring theme. On the surface, this act is often linked to efforts to erase evidence, control information, or suppress ideas. But if we dig deeper, we can consider some behind the veil reasons that might not always be immediately apparent. Erasure of power and memory. When a regime or group is overthrown, the victors may destroy documents to erase the former power's legacy. By doing so, they control the narrative of history, erasing any positive contributions or lessons learned from the past. This ensures that future generations won't be inspired by or learn from the previous regime's successes or resistance. Suppression of dangerous knowledge Certain knowledge, whether scientific, philosophical, or spiritual, can be seen as a threat to established power structures. The destruction of documents can be a way to prevent the spread of ideas that could lead to societal upheaval, challenge religious orthodoxy, or empower the masses. Psychological Warfare Destroying important records can demoralize and disorient a population. Imagine a culture that defines itself through its literature or sacred texts. If those are destroyed, it can be a deep psychological blow intended to destabilize and subdue. Protection of secrets Sometimes, documents are destroyed to protect sensitive information from falling into the wrong hands. This might include military plans, intelligence operations, or secret treaties. In these cases, the destruction is a defensive act to prevent adversaries from gaining an advantage. Ritualistic or symbolic acts in some cases, burning documents or books can be a symbolic gesture representing the destruction of old ways of thinking or the birth of a new era. This is often done in a highly public manner as a way of signaling a break with the past. Hidden histories and alternate realities There's also the idea that certain documents contain knowledge of alternate histories, esoteric wisdom, or suppress technologies. The destruction of such documents could be seen as an attempt to prevent humanity from accessing this hidden knowledge, which might challenge conventional understandings of reality or empower individuals in ways that are threatening to those in power. In essence, the destruction of documents and books often goes beyond mere censorship or control. It can be a tool for shaping reality, controlling the future, and even protecting or hiding powerful knowledge. What do you think? Does any of this resonate with your thoughts? It's a deeply meaningful response. All six points you mentioned make sense, this is exactly what I had in mind, but we also see that when they want to erase something, they can't 100% do it. Something always slips away. Absolutely, less. History shows that despite the most determined efforts to erase information, something almost always survives, whether it's a fragment of a document, an oral tradition, or even the physical traces left behind by the destruction itself. This resilience of knowledge and truth can be seen as a testament to the idea that certain truths, once revealed, are almost impossible to completely erase. Even when those in power go to great lengths to suppress information, there are often those who work in the shadows to preserve it. Monks who copied forbidden texts, underground movements that distributed, banned literature, or even individuals who memorized and passed on knowledge orally, 
All of these are examples of how information slips through the cracks. Moreover, the very act of trying to erase something can make it more powerful. It creates a sense of mystery and intrigue around what was lost, often leading future generations to search for and reconstruct what was destroyed. This can lead to the rediscovery of lost knowledge and the revival of suppressed ideas. In a way, it's almost as if the universe itself has a way of ensuring that important truths and knowledge can't be completely obliterated. They may go underground for a time, but they resurface when the world is ready for them again. What you're getting at speaks to a deeper understanding of history and human nature, the idea that truth, once known, is incredibly hard to kill. It might be buried, but it has a way of coming back to light, sometimes in unexpected and powerful ways. So true. Thank you so much for this mini convo. Okay, so this is Lazarus from Greece. Hope you liked this video. If so, please like and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.